Welcome to the Devart Tutorials. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the cross-tab feature of DB Forge Tools for SQL Server to create interactive and informative pivot tables in your reports. Let's get started. Before we proceed, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. There are lots of helpful SQL Server tutorials with best practices awaiting you. Crosstab is a useful tool for data analysis and reporting. It offers a clear and concise way to present data in a tabular format and helps users analyze and summarize large amounts of data in an effective way. With Crosstab, you can easily convert row data into columnar data and aggregate it, making it easier to identify trends, patterns, and anomalies. Let's consider a scenario where we have a flat table containing sales data for 2016 to 2017 which includes the names of brands, product categories, and total sales. Analyzing or drawing conclusions from data in such a format can be challenging. To make it more manageable, we can transform it into a pivot table. Let's see how easily this can be done using the Report Designer functionality that comes with DB Forge tools for SQL Server. To begin with, open a blank report by going to the File Main menu and selecting Nude Blank Data Report. Then, add the crosstab control to the report header band. It is important to note that placing the crosstab control in the detail band will display the crosstab data for each record in the report's record source. The crosstab pattern comprises rows that serve as row headers, columns that represent column headers, and data that calculate a summary of the data to be displayed. To create a pivot table report first, we need to add a query returning data to be used in the report. For this, click Add Query on the Data Source toolbar. In the Query Builder document, switch to the text view at the bottom of the document insert the query, and save it. Next, navigate back to the report document. Once the data has been refreshed, the query columns will appear on the right, allowing you to populate the table with data. Drag the order underscore total column to the data area. For a more granular analysis, you can add the year and quarter columns to the columns area to display a breakdown of sales by year and quarter in the report. In addition, we need to group data by category within each brand. For this, simply drag the brand and category columns to the rows area. We can now preview the results by switching to the preview mode. However, the table does not fit on a single page, which can make it difficult to read. Fortunately, there are ways to address this issue and improve the readability of the report. To make the report easier to read and analyze, we can adjust the scaling settings to ensure that the entire table fits on one page. For this, click Scale on the Preview toolbar, select Fit to, and and set the value to 1. By the way, the report's appearance can be customized using the Properties pane. For instance, you can select a paper size and orientation, modify fonts, colors, and borders. Let's preview the table again. Excellent. Now it is presented on a single page. That's it. In this tutorial, we have shown how you can generate powerful pivot table reports and extract insights from your data with DB Forge Query Builder for SQL Server. With the tool, you can quickly and easily create intuitive and informative reports that will help you make informed decisions and optimize your analysis efforts. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos.